This is about 203 inches inside. You know, like 102s, it should be like 202 inches. But it's actually 200 and I think it's 208. How long are these beams on both sides? Because I gave them at least 103s on both sides. It should be 203 inches long on both sides for the total and all. So it's looking good. I'll show you guys up closer. I'm going to walk up and look, show you what I did. So it's all camel tape. We're going to be putting this on a rotor. The rotor is going to go right on the bottom of this thing. So we've got tie wraps and everything included. I'll show you a second where it's going to go on to. But i got a little metal strap that will go on it soon. During this week or next week, I don't know when. But we're just getting it all designed and done. So I'll show you in a second. And okay, this is the rotor I'm going to be putting it on. I got the brackets will go on this. You know this kind of antenna. I'll link you down in the description when you get one of these. The brackets are going to go right on here. I'll show you what they look like in a second. But I'll show you in a minute. You guys can look at it. And that's why I paint this wire. It's actually the antenna that comes with this. It's about 50 foot. It will go into the rotor box. It's one of those antennas. I'll link it down to where you can get the rotor antenna for it. And you have to clip these things off like I did in my other videos. And it comes with the brackets. What I had to do with this, how I got it into this fitting here, and I'll tell you guys how to do that. Use some electric tape in there. Get some cheap electric tape. Any dollar store will have it. And either way, I had to use some chocolate spray paint. Get at any local hardware store, probably Ace, probably um. Either way, the only way I had to did this, had to straighten this out with this duct tape, when I put it inside a paint pole. The paint pole you can get at any low store. It's a 12 footer. It's the one with the yellow one, guys. You get. You see it every time. That's what I'm saying. And that's the one that has the silver rod in it. When you untangle, when you un loosen this. And you had to pull it up, but I'm going to put some ropes on it, camel ropes that you get at Walmart's, hyper tough ropes, I have some of those. And they're paratype core type ropes. And that's what I'm going to put it on the little metal brackets um, to hold it from blowing in the wind. And probably will tie it off with something with rods or something like that later on soon, see how that will work. But right now, putting it all together in design. But what you guys got to do about this paint pole thing, it's in here. And what you got to get inside, this is the gray part right here. Uh, where you know, this is the silver part where it goes in here. The gray part in here will actually bounces around a little bit. This top, you have to worry about bouncing. This is where the rotor cable goes inside this little box with a chip. And this thing is what spins it on this boat right here. This spins right here, except this doesn't spin. This spins right here, and probably this will spin, but. I had to wrap some duct tape inside the silver part thing that actually comes with the painter pole. So I had to wrap it to get a link of this hole at the same time to get it like this. So you guys can see that. And get a good good glimpse of it. So we had to did that for a reason. Then we spray paint with some ace paint you get at a local store. Ace sells a big can of brown paint. But you could use Rustolium type paint I used on it a while back. And it sprayed paint really nice. It's a quantum 103 antenna, I think it is. Usually it's on my Patreon page, you guys can check out. I'll put a link down in the description below. You guys can follow up on that. I'm using that one as a blog system. But this is where these brackets come in. And I'll show you right here. These are the ones that are going to go on the piece of wood in the center where the duct tape is, you're seeing. And on the bottom of it, I put some duct tape, uh, some grill tape under it. So I can line up position. I did this back a couple weeks ago when I was doing this. I don't know what size of these are, but you can find these at any local hardware store. Usually these size will work. And I'll tell you what size they are. They give me an idea, but it doesn't matter. But usually any of these sizes of this will work fine. You have to get the longer the better, it'd be okay. I think these are about three and one half inches. I don't know. Oh there it is. Number 55, 6. So you guys can see that. Give you a shot of that. Hope that has an all the focus. I'll give you the description when you read it. It's usually um number 55202. 
that's what it is the number 55 it's actually one up to three one half three up to one half sixteenths so it's actually one third one sixteenths and that's what it is so i'm just looking at it right down here i know you guys can see this in the light i'll get you guys a little bit glimpse of it that will give you a better idea But it's actually one third, one sixteenth. This thing is, and what I'm looking at here, this one is actually three twos, three three twos, one sixteenth. That's what this one is. This one right here. So it doesn't matter this size; it will be working perfect for this long size. So if you guys are gonna design a cheap way to get a rotor antenna going, and the way you do this. Make sure you put the brackets, and I'll give you an idea of it. You put it, you slit the board in the middle, and that's what you do. And you clamp this right here. I'm sorry I got interrupted, guys. That happens to me sometimes. Hope you guys will continue. You'll get an idea where it hooks up when the, the, the wood is going to slide on top of this thing between these holes on both sides. This right here. And you put them on that side the same way as positioned on that side. And what you do, you take this. You slip the board on it and you tighten this up. These little plastic things will tighten up a bit and it'll actually work. I tried it out a couple, about a week ago before I paint all this, before I put the camel tape on it. And actually when I press the button on the rotor, it actually will go with this. And I think I did show you the box. And I'll show you the box what it looks like. It's simple, but then you have to have like a compass that point your angle or a GPS compass. You point your beam, it gets you an idea when you stand in front of it. But it's something you guys can get on DX pretty fast and cheap the way I'm doing it. You guys see how much all those big rotors are, like $200. But this is you could do under these $20 of this. This rotor usually costs like $27 between $30 bucks or less than that. You can get an average. I got this room when it was $15 or $17 around Christmas when I got this. And I bought this with my crypto when I earned it for free from phone farming. And this cord actually comes with it too. This is 50 foot of the RGA, but if you match the cord and you get the rotor to work, then you got the right kind of cord, which, you know, those TV antenna cords you get at Walmart, you buy, like, uh, that's what it is, and they usually will work really quite well. And that's what you can do. So I paint this so you can camouflage the top of it, so when it's brown, they can't see it far away. Even this real tree type cambo thing, I'll show you the duct tape where you guys get it at. Your local Walmart store will have this. Or eBay will have it. And I'll show you a little bit more of it soon. This is where you guys get the cambo tape. I'm going to show you a little bit more how it looks like. You find this at your local store. Or look it up on eBay, which I'll put it down in the description where you guys get some. This will work for all your little CB stuff. Trust me. I'm glad someone who vent this product. It's a good thing to have that. This is actually all the angles, what it looks like. We did a really good job on this. We'll see what happens when I get it up there, when I get time. But it will work on the rotor. Then I duct tape this. We tie wrap this. We use these kind of rackets, which I had to got these a while back on eBay. I spray paint them with chocolate brown paint. They come in silver. You need these to hold this down so this thing doesn't pop up. I put some tie wraps. They're 18 inches tie wraps, which I'll show you guys to get it at your local Wally World. You guys saw the videos how this works. We're going to put some more duct tape on this when I get time. I'm going to wrap it down with some uh, smooth electric tape so everything keeps all the connections out from water. And it's very quite good. These tie wraps hold it in because when it lifts up, it pops out. The screws are pretty long on the bottom they're holding up. Sorry I had an interruption. So this is, guys, you need a bracket to hold down the PVC pipe. It's a 3-4 PVC pipe. You buy it at Lowe's, which I'm going to get to do a two-element antenna, the same thing as the same design. So it'll be four-foot long pipe on this piece of wood there, which is going to be in a center way. This is where you get the tie wraps for these, for that, and that will actually work. So I give you guys good, and you need pipe glue to glue these in. You gotta do adjustment. What I did a couple weeks ago when I adjust the antenna and trimmed it, that took a lot of time when I laid it on trash hands. So that was perfect when I did that. Once you got that, 
then you design it and you have to design everything you do it see it's going to go right around the center right here trust me i did it and tried it out not on the pipe i tried it on this board it will work fine and you guys want to learn this idea it's about 203 inches long almost 208 but if you guys want to go to build a single beam antenna this is how you start on your de-axing and i'm going to be getting the two element to make this the same design as this in a couple of months which i have to get a four-way pipe thing and a four foot and sometimes you might get some leftover pipes when you trim it down to 103s but which i have a four foot four foot pipe that will do the center beam of this and the way i'm going to do this i'm going to lay the pipe on this here and do it like that two beams on each side and same thing on the front right here you have to make sure it's right two beams on both sides that's how i do it and the way i'm going to do it i'm going to have the two-way cord system that connects the center this way and the two things that way and that way and that's how i'm going to do it but let's hope this thing works good once i get it up there and once i get time i just got this designed today got it set up because the weather has been bad the last couple of weeks because it's been kind of cold now it's warming up so this is foxman 362 world radio i hope you guys enjoyed this video check out my patreon page when you get time i got updates on that but it's just a blog page i use it for if you guys want to donate something message me through there if you want to donate five to ten dollars to amazon cards or if you want to send it through my paypal link i don't usually do that i'll usually give it to you that way if you want to do that that's great or if you want to send me something in the mail i usually guys let you know that but keep it updated on my page we'll do some dx videos and other radio type systems we do right now i'm still designing the coax getting all the coax set up and and trying to get it stretched and and make sure I'm trying to get the antenna up in, in the air and trying to get that position when I get time. But I got this design. It's ready to go on the air anytime I want. And with a KM Italy will work with this too, which I have one, a 203. It should be okay with speaker wire. But what I like about the speaker wire, and I'm going to tell you guys about that, if something fell down off your roof or something happened, at least you can take this antenna apart and re-put it in another PVC pipe and repair it. And along the silver thing is good shape, it's good. It's flexible, it's destructible. Think about it. Not for right when it stretches, but it'll be protected inside. With, it'll be quite good. It actually will survive better than the copper wire. The copper wire will just definitely bend. But the speaker wire might be good flexible stuff, or you can use this. Think of this idea on YouTube. I want people to learn this, to build their own antennas or their CB radios, and do this for their DXing beam. This is the cheapest way you can do it. If you guys want to do it, I gave you the links down there where you guys get the speaker wire. And also we're going to be doing another video sometime soon. When we get the update on the rotor, you'll be able to see that. And I'm going to be able to show that when I get it, when I get time. Oh, who knows? It could be any time or any week or a couple of weeks down the road. I don't know. But this is Foxman 362 World Radio. Keep an eye on my videos out there. I'll do DXing sometimes and a lot of other stuff. And especially other antennas too. Even CB radios. Who knows either way you guys have a good day hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys like the design of the antenna I did and the way I designed a camo if I was a hunter anybody who does this this will be good for them in the woods for this it'll be camouflage for anything you can't see and if you guys want to get around the HOA areas this will be a perfect antenna for something like this for a single beam to get DX but you got to make sure you make it look good and bright and design it right like I do you can come up with many designs you want but this is an idea out there on YouTube you guys can learn and we'll be doing some more DXing videos out there and especially some other antenna videos too on CBs too and I hope my two element project will come out the way I'm trying to do but it's going to take a lot of time to design to get it right to make sure everything's good and pretty quite cool this is Foxman 362 World Radio out in East Tennessee I'm waving all the hands out there to all the big guys out there and the DX skippers and locals in my area. Catch you later, and we'll be bringing out some more videos real soon.